Okay, here is a chart that shows how diamonds start out. Okay, Let me grab my pen. So they start out as octahedrons and with heat and pressure, like the crater of diamonds, they transform past this um, tetrahexahedron which that word is spelled wrong. I'm sorry. This is out of a book, Arkansas diamond book. Uh, most of the words are spelled wrong. So sorry about that. Um, all right. So these diamonds start off here like African diamonds, but with the ride from 120 plus miles down where diamonds are formed and are hanging out at the eruption down here created this pipe, just like at the Crater of Diamonds. There was never a volcano at the Crater of Diamonds. It's a volcanic pipe that pushed the diamonds and other volcanic material and all the material that's up in here. It all got blowed out, which made the diamonds resorb and lose their octahedron formation. And we get resorb diamonds it's like taking an ice cube and letting it melt and then sticking it back in the freezer and it formation that you see is kind of like how these diamonds what happened to them they were octahedrons and they went up and the material went down and it did that a few times till it finally blew most of the diamonds were melted and burned to nothing the ones that didn't are the ones that we find today at the Crater of Diamonds. So this chart just kind of gives you an idea of how and why there's diamonds in Arkansas and why these diamonds are so rare and expensive than what the regulars say they are worth. Um, you know, these are up to 30% stronger than African diamonds. You cannot take an African diamond and cut an Arkansas diamond. It takes Arkansas diamonds to cut Arkansas diamonds. And, yep, all right. So let's take a look at some diamonds up close and get a better view of resorbed diamonds. And my tetrahexahedron that I found, which I've only seen maybe or heard of like two or three of those found at the Crater of Diamonds out of the hundreds of thousands found. You can find one in this formation here, flawless. Uh, yeah, that's like $500 a point or more because they're just such a rare diamond. And I found one. All right, let's take a look at them. In this photo here, we have a tetrahexahedron as you can see the facets are in every corner of the diamond creating a 24 facet diamond this is the next stage once a octahedron gets melted with heat and pressure here is a octahedron a natural african diamond notice that these are not gem quality and they have to be cut to give the uh, brilliant of a diamond that we buy in jewelry. Okay, here are the diamonds up close. We will start far left. And you can count the facets on this diamond here. One, two, three, four, just in this corner. And at the bottom here, it also has the four facets and the same as this left corner. And if it wasn't in the resorbing um, formation stage, it would be a perfect tetrahedron. Did I say that right? Tetrahexahedron. Because before that is the octahedron. And after the 
tetrahexahedron. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, you have the resorbed look where there are no 24 facets like this one would have been, but it got hot on this side here. See, there you see the one, two, three, four. If we can flip it over like that, focus, you can see carbon dots, everything the resorb diamonds have. This one here got really hot and melted to this formation that it's in. Okay, here is my last diamond I found, a flawless 12 point. If you didn't see the video of me finding it, go check it out. I'd appreciate it. You can see the facets. You can see how it's fully resorbed. Just like taking an ice cube and it melting and then it stops and rehardens or refreezes. Kind of like these diamonds, they cooled off and this is what we get. Um, these at the top, this is an African cut diamond, a commercial grade, just a cheap $20 diamond from Africa. You cannot cut Arkansas diamonds with African diamonds. It requires Arkansas diamonds must have Arkansas diamonds to cut them because they are up to 30% stronger than African diamonds. This here is a piece of quartz, just to kind of let you all get an idea. It is a really nice piece of quartz that will fool you as a diamond, and it's, this isn't a diamond, it's quartz. So this diamond here being the formation it's in, I think there's only been maybe one or two of the uh, tetrahexahedrons that were perfect or even any type of look. There's just very few like this. Even what I have here, they're just not, most of the Arkansas diamonds look like this. Okay, probably 85% found are ugly, carbon internally. They just got so hot and melted. There's a few that are flawless like this one here. It's resorbed and it stayed in a very nice form same as this one here and of course this one notice it's just a really nice resorbed diamond so this diamond here is a 29 point which is just over a quarter carat not much and that's $100 a point, all right? Why? Because that's what I want for it. It's mine. I found it. So that's what I want for it. Most people that are regulars that sell their diamonds to pay for their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and cigarettes and their $200 a month rent at the local camping grounds will say all these are only worth $15 a point because they have to sell their diamonds. I don't have to sell my diamonds. So therefore I get what I want for my diamonds and I live six hours away. The further you get away from the source, the more valuable stones and gems are. And that's just a fact that some of those regulars at the crater cannot handle. Um, so yeah, you're looking at around eight thousand dollars or so for these diamonds um one i have a flawless diamond here that will make a very good stone for a setting of some type probably do a, a silver setting i don't know this one here would look nice in a gold setting it's near flawless just a couple of black carbon dots internally yep they're small but you know what 
They're 30% stronger than African diamonds. The diamonds at the Crater of Diamonds are getting harder to find. That place has been mined for over 100 years. Each year, there's going to be less diamonds, you know, that, I mean, just, they're getting harder to find. Especially this one here with the characteristics that it has. Yes, it's ugly on this side, but you can set it in a stone. If I could get it to flip, or you could set it in a in a ring, and it would look really pretty right there with with these facets. Get it back over here. Oh, there we go. Now that's one of the four facet sides. But yeah, you know, if you find a diamond at the Crater of Diamond, you get what you want for it. Don't mean you're ever going to sell it. Just like another regular at the Crater of Diamonds. He had a ugly one carat, almost a, a carat and a half. Things like a 140, 1 1.40. Ugly. Uglier than all these. And all the regulars called him a fool and laughed at him, but he stuck to his price. And one day a lady stopped by and bought every single diamond he had. He got over $5,000 for that one carat that was so ugly. But, you know, he stuck to his price. And he, he got what he wanted for his diamonds. So don't be fooled by the regulars that say they're only worth $15 to $20 per point. That's 1980 prices. This isn't 1980. This is almost... The year 2020 biscuits and gravy in murfreesboro arkansas are eight dollars um, camping at the crater of diamonds has tripled since i started it's now forty dollars a night instead of twenty dollars a night i guess that's double but yeah times have changed everything's expensive it's expensive to drive there it's expensive to I mean, you get you got to have money to sleep. I mean, what the heck? So, the diamonds are not ten to twenty dollars per point, just so everybody knows that. And especially if you have very rare diamonds with very unique characteristics, like this one here, because it's almost in the stage just past the octahedron, which. I think only two diamonds out of the 80,000 have been found since it was a state park. Some of the early mining companies probably found some uh, diamonds that were flawless with this uh, texahedron, however you say it. So just wanted everybody to know that your Arkansas diamonds are worth more than what the regulars say they are worth.